Hello and welcome to my kitchen at home. Now by now you might have gathered that I love a bit of cookie dough and I've done quite a few recipes using it and you guys respond so well I'm pretty sure you like it too. So here is another recipe with cookie dough is the king. It's for my cookie dough sandwich cookies. Cookie dough sandwich cookies. <laughs> and I think you're gonna absolutely love these. I'm gonna start by making the cookies and it's important to note that this recipe makes quite a lot of cookies and I'm only gonna use half of it. Now, that could be a problem um, and if you want to half this recipe, it has got one egg so you're gonna need to split that but I can't see what the problem is with having leftover cookie dough. All you need to do is wrap it up, stick it in the freezer and then you can have cookie dough emergency cookies. So, I'm gonna start with 350 grams of plain flour and I'm gonna whisk in one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and half a teaspoon of salt. Um, once that's thoroughly mixed, just need to leave that to one side for later because that's the last thing we're going to put in. And now I'm going to beat some sugar and some butter together. So I've got 230 grams of soft unsalted butter and 100 grams of caster sugar and 220 grams of light soft brown sugar. And I'm barely going to beat this really, I just want to put it on a low speed just to bring it together. Once that's come together, you just need to add one large free range egg. And I'm gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla and give it a good whisk. And once that's done, you just need to whack that in with the sugar and butter. And then mix that together briefly until it all combines. That should do it. And now I'm gonna put my dry ingredients in and just fold that together. And then to make these cookies super tasty, I'm putting 150 grams of milk chocolate chips. I've cut these chocolate chips really fine. And then just fold that together briefly. That is my cookie dough all ready to go. Now, I like to be precise about how much cookie dough I put on there. Some people use uh, ice cream scoops or other things. I like to weigh mine because I'm getting small balls. I don't have an ice cream scoop small enough. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna take pieces of my cookie dough and I'm using rubber gloves because I want to make sure that I'm not losing all the dough all over my hands. Um, and I'm gonna weigh them to be about 15 or 16 grams. Right, that's all my balls rolled and ready to bake. Uh, now I've got quite a lot of cookie dough. As I said before, you must save this because it's gonna be really handy when you need a cookie. I'm just going to uh, split that into two, roll it into thin sausages, wrap it in cling film, whack them in the freezer so I can just cut them and bake them when I need them. But for now, these are gonna go into the oven at 170 degrees C for seven to eight minutes until they're slightly golden around the edge. While my cookies are cooling down, I'm gonna get on with making the cookie dough filling. Now, I should mention at this point that the last time I did a cookie dough recipe, some of you were a little bit concerned about eating raw flour. Um, I just wanna make a little bit of a note on that. Um, if you are concerned about eating raw flour, there is something you can do. You can just bake your flour first. So, whack your flour that you need onto a baking sheet, put it at the same kind of temperature you'd bake at, so maybe 170, 180, and bake it for around 10 minutes, and that will kill any bacteria. You just need to cool it down before you use it. I kind of treat E uh, flour is the same way that I treat eggs, you know, it's a little bit of a risk. Um, I'm not too bothered, I grew up eating cookie dough and I'm still alive. Uh, but if you are concerned, that's what you need to do. Um, but first of all, I've got 25 grams of unsalted soft butter in my bowl and I'm gonna add 25 grams of demerara sugar and 25 grams of caster sugar. And I'm gonna beat that together until it's a little bit pale. Next, I'm gonna add one and a half tablespoons of yogurt and a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla. And give that a good mix. And then 70 grams of plain flour and half a teaspoon of salt goes in. And once that's thoroughly mixed, you then need to add 30 grams of finely chopped milk chocolate chips. 
and just mix that all together. And I'm going to refrigerate that before I use it, so for now I'm just going to get it out of the bowl and roll it into a thin sausage into cling film. And then just whack that into the fridge or the freezer while you get on with the next bit. Now these cookie sandwiches aren't just going to be filled with cookie dough, they're also going to be filled with delicious chocolate cream cheese icing and if you've watched my video on cream cheese icing that will have demystified some of the questions you might have had about how to get your cream cheese right so hopefully you'll be an expert by now. I'm going to start by beating my cream cheese and my butter together. I've got 100 grams of cream cheese and 35 grams of butter and I'm going to beat that together till it's really well combined. And I've also got 165 grams of sifted icing sugar. I'm just going to put that in and beat it all up. Now after a couple of minutes, it will all be nice and light um, and it will seem kind of sloppy, but at this point you get to add chocolate and I've already melted and cooled 75 grams of dark chocolate and I'm going to put it in and beat it together. And once it's all beat together, it should stiffen up a little bit until it's just the right consistency. Mmm, -mm, that looks absolutely lovely. Silky and dark and it smells delicious. Now I'm going to put that into a piping bag, clear the decks and then we're going to get on with assembly. Right, let's get this show on the road. So I've already flipped over half of my cookies so that the bottom is exposed. And the first thing I'm going to do is to pipe a nice fat ring of delicious chocolate cream cheese icing around the cookie base. And now it's time to put the cookie dough centres in, so I'm just going to chop my little cookie dough sausages into pieces, roll them up into balls and pop them in the middle. And the last thing I need to do is put the lids on and give them a little squish. And you can set these in the fridge if you want to not have them smushing out when you eat them. I don't really mind if it smushes out, so I'm just going to go ahead and eat them. And I really hope you enjoy this and enjoy making them. Please let me know that you have in the comments box below and tag me in your photos using hashtag Cupcake Gemma on Instagram and Twitter. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, then you can do so by clicking on my face. I'll be back next week with another recipe, so I'll see you then. Bye! <laughs> mm, yummy.